look at it. Just look at it. Montana beauty. Look at this. Everywhere you look, it's just amazing. We're in Missoula, Montana. Starting off our day here. Uh, we got here pretty late last night. We got here at about two in the morning. So we had to wait till noon the next day because you have to stop for 10 hours consecutively in the United States before you can start driving again. So today we'll be uh, ending our day in Canada, in Surrey, British Columbia, way on the southwest side. Oh, I almost said southeast, that's, no. Southwest side of Canada, just above Washington State, right on the Pacific coast there. Uh, somebody there needs some American glass. I've got it on my trailer underneath some tarps right now, keeping it all nice and pretty for them. They're gonna be impressed, I'll tell you what. I, I I think they're gonna be impressed. What do you think? We took good care of their glass, what do you think? Yes, exactly. Speechless. Speechless, that's what they'll be. We deliver their first thing tomorrow morning and then uh, I'm gonna be staying in the area there over the weekend. Uh, this truck's going into the shop. Surprise, surprise! Trucker Josh's truck is going back into the shop. It's just been, uh, it's been that kind of quarter. Uh, there's been a lot of little issues to get worked on on this truck. So uh, my air dryer, I think I told you yesterday, is starting to go on this truck. So I've got to get that replaced. Uh, it's frozen up on me a couple of times already. So I've got to get the moisture out of my airlines. Uh, the air dryer is old, it needs to be replaced. I also need to get the whole truck looked over for some air leaks. Uh, just in case, make sure that that's all good to go. Um, other than that, my, my engine light popped on, like for a little bit, every now and then. Like it pops on, then it goes off for like a week, and then all of a sudden it pops on, then it goes off. I've gotten it checked out before, and every single time it's the same sensor. There's a sensor that's not connecting properly, and uh, so I want to get that fixed. They're going to go with their computer at the Volvo dealership there in Langley, BC. They're going to go and uh, take a look at it, see what's going on, and fix it for me, hopefully. And hopefully they can all get it done pretty quickly. I might need to get a motel. It's fine if we do, as long as my bill isn't too big at the shop. Hoping it'll be under a thousand bucks. But the air dryer is about a hundred bucks or so, plus about an hour to install it. Then they'll have to flush the airlines, flush the air system. That'll be another charge. They've got to diagnose what's going on with the engine light. That's going to be another couple hundred dollars. Plus probably replace the sensor. That'll probably be another couple hundred dollars. Then they got to look over the whole other, the rest of the truck. They'll probably charge me for that. Another couple hundred dollars. Everything's really expensive. Have I told you that? Shops are way too expensive. How are we supposed to maintain our trucks out here and put food on our table? I don't know. I'm not going to get into that right now because we're going to make, we're going to make this a happy day. Happy day. I'm even going to comb my beard. Look. Oh, I forgot to do this after I showered. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's right. Oh, ow. Okay. There we go. How do I look? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Let's go. Got my shades on. Looking cool. Ready to go. Okay, maybe I'm not looking cool. Whatever. Whatever. Let's get out of here. I sort of want to stay here. I love Montana. So this is a town pump pilot. So they have pilot fuel here, pilot flying J. But it's a town pump. So it's different than flying J. I don't know. Montana's special. I have to find my, where did I put my loyalty card? Oh shoot, I had to take that inside for my shower. I don't remember where I put it. I wonder if it's in my sweater. Too late now. Turn left and then turn right into 130 meters.
Welcome to Idaho. So it's pretty much just mountain ranges all the way across this top portion of the state here. The state line is pretty much at the peak. We've been climbing up for a few minutes. Look at that snowblower on the left. That would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. So now we're descending into the valley. Before you know it, we'll be in Washington State. Here we are in this beautiful like separation between mountain ranges. In the US, it's different than in Canada. In Canada, we just have the Rocky Mountains, and that's it. In the US, the Rocky Mountains sort of curve inland, and that's the mountains we went over before, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. We have another mountain range in front of us to go over. That's the Cascade Mountains. But we're between those two mountain ranges right now, and it's just wide open flat prairies again, just like at home pretty much. A little bit of a different feel to it, but huge expanses out here in Washington, just right south of British Columbia. Like, British Columbia is that way, a few hundred miles. And all of British Columbia is like rugged, rocky mountains. Look at this, just a little ways south. Complete flatlands. Crazy. This is the same gap between the mountains, I guess, that uh, you would see going all the way south uh, through all the way down to the Nevada desert. I guess it's the same, same thing, right? Same region, sort of. It's just north. It's an interesting area and opening here between the mountains that Canada doesn't have. It's sort of like, uh, I guess, the Okanagan Valley, but an extreme big version of it. <laughs> Pretty cool. Still got five hours to go. And a mountain range to get over. And here we are. I haven't been here in a while. I believe this is Bellevue, Washington sort of right next door to Seattle, Washington. It's all the same city, to me anyways. I, anyone who's not from here would say it's just another downtown right here within the same city of Seattle. But once again, locals would, uh, I'm sure, disagree. Let's just call it Seattle. We're here in Seattle. I always like this highway goes right past their downtown here. This isn't downtown Seattle. This is one of the other downtowns in Seattle. <laughs> Have I confused you yet? I'm confused. Maybe this is Everett? I don't know. Big buildings. Tons of people all in one place. Look, at, look, look how many people are here. It's almost 9 o'clock at night. People everywhere. Cities, I tell you, man. Cities. Not my thing. But they are pretty amazing to come visit though, you know? Looking at all these massive buildings and all these like little cubicles that people live in. Like a box in the sky. Fascinating, you know? It's like a foreign world. So this is a very nice city, very well taken care of. Seattle's actually got quite the history. Uh, I've come, I've been here quite a few times before. I used to come to a, a annual vlogger fair here in Seattle. I don't think it's, I don't think it's going on anymore. But uh, several years ago, I came here every year for that, and that's where I met my friend Troy that I was talking to you about before. He's from south of here, I think, somewhere, somewhere around here. He's somewhere in the same city. Really good friend of mine, one of my best friends. 
and I met him at this vlogger fair and that's how I got to know Seattle and while I was here I learned a little bit about the history of Seattle you know and the old Seattle fires and everything and their weird alley full of old gum stuck on the wall and all kinds of stuff uh, went on a ride the ducks tour lots of stuff to do here it's a very fascinating place uh, well there's French on the signs again I can only mean one thing we're back home well sort of we're in British Columbia I'm from Manitoba if you're new to the vlog very different place than BC but same country sort of like being from North Dakota but visiting Washington State and the scale is closed now that's a proper welcome home thank you I hate it when they have the scale open and I come back home and that's a, that's the way you welcome me back with the open scale that's not very nice this is the way this is the proper welcome closed scale it's the way it should be a closed scale is always the best scale. So this is... One kilometer, turn right on, 65A Avenue. Cut that out. So this is Surrey, British Columbia. Pretty much Vancouver, same thing. And we're going to be parking at the customer. So we're ready for them. 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Going to be an early one. Hope you join us then. Meters, turn 